Since March 17th, the sustainable boutique spoils of wear in St. Paul has been close to foot traffic. It's been a huge pivot um, to entirely online sales. Owner Jill Erickson says in need of help, she applied for multiple loans and grants. One of them being the federal SBA's Economic Injury Disaster Loan Program, which was supposed to offer advances of up to $10,000 within three days. Not a single person has seen that money. And it's not even so much, um, it's not even so much the, the time frame, although that is really pertinent. Like we are in, in desperate need to get money as soon as possible, but it's also just like this lack of communication. We uh, have one tranche of money out there. Treasury was slow to get it out. They don't have enough people at the SBA staffs to really help people. And there's just a lot more work that needs to be done by this administration to get the money out the door. I'm worried that by the time help is actually available, it will be too late for businesses my size. Christy Case of Teeny Bee Boutique and Peregrine Kidswear says she's applied for all kinds of grants and loans and has not heard back from a single one. A lot of our lenders have reached the capacity on their balance sheet to actually be able to lend to our local communities. I'm reaching out to Secretary Mnuchin to see just how long it's going to take to get those loans off the books so that our local banks can open this back up. These businesses that I've worked so hard on that I've grown over the last seven years and, and put all of my blood, sweat and tears into just to know they're just hanging on by a thread and maybe somebody will help and maybe they won't. It's a tough place to be. Heidi Wigdahl, Care 11 News. St. Paul just, to, just launched a bridge fund to help small businesses with their immediate expenses. Applications open today. Both Minnesota Deed and the Chamber of Commerce also have resources listed on their websites, and we'll link to those at care11.com.